Hey agents, it's LZ789 with another build video. I want to show you my firewall flamethrower build. With this build you almost have unlimited flamethrower ammo and it's really good with the Hollywood event that's active right now. I'll show you. Um, if you go to season, you go to Hollywood, then you press triangle for details. So all the enemies have shields and damaging a shield hostile with explosive EMP or any kind of specialization weapon will explode their shield. So yeah, you can throw a grenade or use EMP or we can use the flamethrower that we're gonna use and that will explode their shield and uh, you do normal damage when that happens. So yeah, for this uh, we're using the firewall specialization with the flamethrower. It's really good. Uh, it also comes with the striker ballistic shield which is really useful. I'll go over that in a bit. But yeah, the flamethrower, you just go up to the enemies and burn them. And when you burn them with the flamethrower, it will explode their shield and it's really useful. You just clear a room in two seconds. Um, I have a Scorpio. We're mainly using the flamethrower, but the Scorpio is there to, uh, to give you some backup. And for like the tank enemies, you can use a Scorpio against them. I also have a shield splinterer with perfect optimus. Again, it's not really important, we're mainly using the flamethrower. I have a, a TDI card custom with an extra skill tier. Again, not really important, we're using the flamethrower. Then for the mask, I use the Optus Exuro mask. If you have two pieces, you get 20% uh, incre increased burn duration and 15 skill health. And by three pieces, you get 40 burn damage. And that skill health also includes your uh, shield, so that one has a little bit more health. The increased burn duration and the burn damage is really useful for the flamethrower. Uh, so yeah, we have only two pieces of uh, Exuro, but with the Ninja Backpack it turns into uh, the third stage. Um, I have an Armor Core, uh, a Core Attribute as Armor, Status Effect and Protection from Elites. Then the Ninja Backpack comes with Weapon Damage, Armor, Skill Tier and Protection from Elites. And it has a resourceful talent. It slots in with any equipped gear and, uh, and or brand set. Uh, item to fulfill the requirements to an unlocking the gear set bonus can unlock multiple sets simultaneously. So yeah, by having this backpack, the Ortis Exuro will go to three pieces. This one will also go to four pieces. So just by having this piece on, you increase the the stage of the set. So yeah, then we have the Ortis Exuro gloves with armor and status effects. Then we're using the tip of the spear, um, signature weapon damage by 20, 10 extra weapon damage, and the aggressive recon. Getting a signature weapon kill gives 15 signature weapon damage for 10 seconds and 25 reload speed for the next reload of the weapon. The bonus does not, st does not stack. And you will automatically regenerate signature weapon ammo every 60 seconds. So every 60 seconds you get some ammo for your flamethrower. So yeah, we're, we're almost never gonna run out. Then this one comes with weapon damage, status effect, and protects from elites. And this one is special because it has the special specialized destruction. Increase aggressive recon signature weapon damage bonus from 15 to 30 percent, so it does more damage. And every third signature weapon kill generates signature weapon ammo. So if you kill three enemies with your flamethrower, you get some ammo. So you just need to keep flaming the enemies, and you, you constantly get ammo. And if you do run out of ammo, you get ammo every 60 seconds. So yeah, it's really good. Then I have an... Oh, I already went over this. Then I have another uh, Nip a holster with armor and status effect. And a tip of the spear knee pad with armor and status effect. And we don't need any skill damage because our skills don't do any damage. But the status effect does include our flamethrower. So that's why we have status effects on everything. So yeah, that's the build. Then I'm using a striker ballistic shield. This one you get by using the firewall. And this one is special because... Um, let me see, the buff angle and the buff range. So if you have an enemy in front of you, you do increased damage to that uh, enemy. And any player behind you also does increased damage. And the damage bonus is 12% right now. Uh, because we have, uh, we have the ninja backpack and we have armor on all pieces. This one comes with armor and skill tier. So our shield is level 6. Yeah, skill tier 6. So this one is really strong. With shield health, shield health, and damage bonus per enemy. So yeah, if you you can also choose the holster damage, but I think the extra damage per enemy in front of you is better. And I have my trusted revive hive with two charges, uh, revive armor repair, range, and health. So th this build doesn't really have a lot of survivability. You have some protection from elites, but no reach here, no armor on kill. 
the only thing that comes with it, uh, with the firewall, you get health on Kale. But, uh, so if you go down, it's no problem. You just use your revive and you get back in the fight. I'll show you later in the gameplay how, how to really use this build, but it's really fun, especially with the Hollywood event. But yeah, let's go over the stats really quick. Septic Shock, Perfect Optimist, Optimist, and the Flamethrower. Weapon damage is 929. Wait, let's go to the Flamethrower. There we go. 685. Some crit chance, not really important. Armor damage. Yeah, we're just gonna melt all the enemies. It's really fun. And yeah, when, when you break their shield with the Hollywood event, it just explodes and it does a chain reaction. Because if you have two enemies with a shield next to each other and you hit one, that one enemy will trigger his explosion to the other one next to him. So it just chain reacts to all the enemies. Resourceful, specialized deconstruction. So yeah, these are all the stats. Armor, max health. Yeah, it's just really fun. Yeah, I think this is one of the best builds for this event, for this specific event. These are all the stats. I will put in some gameplay now. If you have any questions about the build, uh, feel free to write a comment. I read all the comments. But yeah, LSD, 789, out. Chance to wipe out the hyena leadership in one decisive blow. Hostile protection.
up in the mall. They're not getting through here. Don't die, motherfucker. Not a chance. Get yourselves ready. This situation is serious.
Serious trauma detected. Hostile restored protection. It's a ballistic shield! Airborne toxins at unsafe levels. Filters failing. Air filter function restored. Air poverty acceptable. Listen up. We got devils in our house and they mean to kill us all. Stand and fight. You hear me? Stand and fight! Taking up the hyena leadership leaves the faction in disarray. I'll send teams to start securing the supplies and the equipment those bastards were hoarding. And I'll let Odessa know. The theater settlement will be able to rest a little easier now.
Enforcements en route. Weapons free! to the parking garage looks like your best way in. True Sun's munitions detected. We need to figure out what they're doing here. See if you can find any intel on their operation. It seems like these guys are salvaging and repurposing anything they can from this place. They're crafty bastards, I'll give them that. Tag anything useful and I'll send in a recovery team later. And blow the shit out of anything too dangerous. True Sun's reinforcements incoming. Keep moving. We need to clear the next wall. Keep moving. You still got two halls to clear. Hostile radio intercepted. Division's on my six! So come through the planetarium. We gotta secure that ordinance. Some of their secrets. 
third rock from the sun. Our home may not be the center of our universe. So far, it's the only planet that can support life as we know. In the vast reaches of space, it's a rational that our home planet is the only Get out of here! Isaac scan the parts. a recovery team. Link up with them and you'll be done. means of propulsion. They wouldn't even need a guidance system to hit the White House or a settlement. Kinda goes without saying, but if you see any missiles lying around, make sure they can never, ever... indicates a designation LMR-90. That would be the missile, then. Please neutralize that fucking thing by any means necessary. Damn it. The salvage crew just ran into those reinforcements. They need backup. Removed hostile protection.
Sun's munitions factory is out of action and they lost a big stockpile of ordnance. Throw in the fact that the settlements can scavenge those workbenches and tools, and I'd say it's been a pretty good day.